Hi, I'm Scott Thompson. And welcome to Postmortem. I love being on Hannibal, but let's face it, my character Jimmy Price is not exactly the most important guy in the show. But I found a way to remedy that. I've hijacked Hannibal's office to give myself more screen time. Oh, and of course, to talk about the show. Because apparently, that's why we're all here. Hello, today on Postmortem, we're talking to Hannibal Lecter himself, Maz Mickelson. We're ready for you, Mads. So, so here we are. What's it like being in that seat? It's not nice. You don't like it, no, do you? No, I don't like it at all. Jimmy Price has finally taken his, his due. I've never thought about that, lad. Yeah. No. Okay, you play Hannibal Lecter. Yes. And uh, when you first were offered the role, what was your first thought about it? How were you going to play him? Uh, reluctant. I was like, oh. Why is that? That's a can of worm. Why are we going to open up that one, right? And then I met Brian. Right. And he, I had 10 minutes with him, and he was supposed to pitch me just the first half season, and after two hours, he was still going on with his arms... I know. ..showing stuff, right? And uh, I thought he was enigmatic and fantastic, and his brain was working on a level I've never seen before. Yeah, so it's I was true. like, that, this, this might be really interesting and radical. Uh, so I went back and read it again, and... Uh, Jumped on board. You met Will like t what ten years ago? Shoot, answer you mean? I mean, you <laughs> see, see, I get confused. You're doing confused. it as well. You, you, I've been doing it for you know. Uh, I, call I, I call him, him all the time. I call him uh, yeah. Will. I call him Wee Man. That's saver. We have to call him. Wee. But people, yeah. people have no idea how small he is, do he's they? I mean, people. He's about this big. Yeah. It's a lot he's, of. He's actually on the other side of this chair right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's holding my mic. He's in he's, here. He is. He is. He's. <laughs> Where you go, Will? <laughs> we'll, come, we'll get to you. We'll yeah. get to you in a minute. Tomorrow, compadre. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, it is a fantastic relationship. It's a, it's a, I think Brian called it a bromance, and I think it's a very perfect word for mm -hmm. it. It's a bromance. It's, a, it's kid brother and, and big brother, right? Uh, but, I mean, Hannibal's world is like this, right? There is a door that he opens, and he finds, he finds something beautiful in there that the rest of us find horrible. We find horror, he finds beauty. Right. And he recognizes in Will the same door, but Will do not know how to open the door. Right. So I will gladly be his assistant. And what's your end game with Will? What do you want to do with him? I want to be his friend. You can be lonely in this world when you're Hannibal. What do you think is the worst thing he's done in the show so far? And framing Will with the ear in his throat. Yeah. That was nice. Now, what's your story with Alana Bloom? What, what is going on? What, what, do you really like her? I like... Everybody I seem to like in the show. And what's your end game with Jack? What are you trying to do with him? <clears throat> his, his job is to catch me and catch bad right. people, right? And he does not have the same doll as Will has. He, he does not have that doll. No, he does. He, he's a decent person. He's a and, very yeah. decent man. And he's not rude. For that no. simple reason, I, I like him. Yeah. He's also a bit like you in that he's <clears throat> the most sophisticated of all the other characters. I think he's a gourmand, he's an aesthetic. Oh, definitely. We have a lot of things in common. Yes, yeah. you do. But I have had a ten there has been a tendency that I have been able to really pull him around by the nose, right? Yeah. So for that reason as well, I like to have him around. Everyone wants to know, mm -hmm. yeah, what does Hannibal Lecter think about Jimmy Price? Well, I guess the very first encounter we had <laughs> when you corrected me in, I did. in the word cagleur. Cag <laughs> I did. It was a very bad start for Jimmy Price. It really was a bad start. If that would have been on a rainy day, I would have eaten you. I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll tell you this. He has not forgotten the cagleur thing. He hasn't? No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. It's in the food bank. <laughs> Absolutely. Because he'd be tasty. Uh, yes. Bubbly. He'd be carbonated. Okay. Um, that's it for us. That's it for us. Watch us next week on. On. Um, what are we on? Postmortem. Postmortem. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you next time.